Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. We will be looking at your life a year from now. So remember that these messages, they are general. They're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So readings are now open, personal readings, and if anyone would like to purchase a personal reading, it is in the description box below. So let's get right into your messages and see what your life will be like a year from now, Sagittarius. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? <clears throat> what will their life be like a year from now? Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, I have engineer. It says light attributes, ability to give creative energy, a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas, shadow attributes, um, reliance on solutions without regard for emotional consequences. So I heard taking control over your life. Some of you are definitely going to be taking control over life. Um, engineer, I feel like you're definitely going to, you're going to be embracing more of your creativity. I'm looking at this picture in the background and I'm getting like Scientology. So for some of you, you may be into Scientology or you may get into Scientology. Um, I'm also getting like Egypt, Egyptian. So you may be um, studying like the Egyptian culture. I also heard travel. Some of you may travel to Egypt within the next year. Um, I just see you. I heard like stud studying um, like mummies, mummification, um, Hinduism. I just see you really taking on different aspects when it comes to spirituality um, and wanting to learn about different spiritual practices as well as different cultures. Let's get another message. Okay. I have Pioneer. Look at that. It says light attribute passion for doing and creating what has not been done before shadow attribute compulsive need to keep moving on so yes light attribute pioneer yet yeah, some of you <laughs> you're doing something that has never been done before um when it comes to your family your lineage a lot of you are going to be the first to finish school um I heard high school for someone you may be like the first person in your family to finish high school um, and go to college um, but yes graduating college starting your own business yes I also heard like even you know getting married before starting a family like you're going to be the first in your family like you are going to be a pioneer you're going to be the first one to try something and to be successful at it um i heard admiration you're going to have a lot of people looking up to you and for some of you i mean it's not anything as far as being on a grand scale um in terms of you know society and being admired by people in society it's more so you having that admiration within your group within your soul tribe um within your family lineage people are going to be looking up to you um i'm looking at this light bulb and like creativity some of you are going to be really um creating um i heard like technology you may be into technology um, and you're really going, I heard like invention, you're going to come up with some type of creative invention. I also heard food, cultivate food. So you may get into um, planting, growing your own food. But yeah, I just see you being the first, like the first to do it and people just really looking to you. So let's get another message.
for some of you this could also be you being the first to start like a social media channel and having like a lot of success with it like i just see the first like you're the first one in your generation in your lineage in your family to do it and it's going to be a success you're going to have people looking up to you you're going to be the blueprint I also heard generational curses for a lot of you. Like, you're going to be breaking generational curses within your lineage. Pioneer. Like, you're going to set the stage. You're going to set the example. Healer. It says, light attributes, passion to serve others by repairing the body mind and spirit ability to help transform pain from healing and then shadow attributes taking advantage of those who need help failing to care for oneself so yes healer um first thing i get is reiki some of you are going to um i heard practitioner you're going to become a reiki practitioner um i'm also getting therapy a child therapist so you may counsel children. I heard sexual abuse. For some of you, you may um, counsel children who have been sexually abused. I'm also getting artist art. For some of you, you may um, do some type of healing practice or some type of counseling or therapy where you use art as a form of healing. That's what I'm getting. Like This is just about you really tapping into your gifts within the next year. Um, for some of you really branching out when it comes to your creative abilities, learning about different cultures, for others of you just being the first one in your family to really try something new and it works and you setting that stage for others who come after you. So let's get some more messages. <laughs> Look at what came out. Sagittarius creativity. By all above and all below, let me connect, let creativity flow. Yeah, being creative in the next year is really going to be about you using your natural gifts. Using what's inside of you. Using what God, what spirit has given you to help others. Let's get another message. I'm also getting like an anthropologist. I heard like study of the bones. Um, some of you may be going into that field. Look at what came out. Healing. Candle flame. Burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. Yes. Healing. You're going to be a healer. Look. You're going to be a healer, Sagittarius. Some of you are going to be healing. You're going to use healing energy. Also get words. For some of you, you heal with your words. I heard like public speaking. You may um, become a public speaker. I just see you being on center stage and a lot of people just um, listening to you. I heard like a health, being health conscious, like a health guru. So you may um, do some kind of public speaking where you get people motivated to change your eating habits, to become more healthier. But yes, healing. Like you're going to heal with your words. You're going to heal with your motivation. And I also heard healing with the hands. So yes, some of you will be healing with the hands. Reiki healing. Um, and again, working with children and as well as adults for some of you. But yes, healer. You are going to be a healer. I also um, feel that with this healing energy, some of you are going to be healing from like childhood issues, past traumas that you have held on to. You're finally going to be cleansed. You're finally going to be able to release, to let go yeah, of things that you've been holding on to, her grudges, um, just people, situations that were very toxic to you that you could not let go of. You're finally going to be able to release. You're finally going to be able to move on. So let's get one more message. And also I'm looking at the word candle. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be um, working with candles. I heard like candle magic within the next year. Like that's really going to become um, prominent for you. Um, I feel like you're going to be using this candle to heal other people. Using candle magic to heal to heal other people. For a lot of you, you're going to be using um, candle magic to heal people within your family. Uh, and also get lineage. You're going to be using um, candle magic to um, break generational curses 
to heal things that have been broken in your family line. To heal relationships that have been broken. To restore balance back into your lineage. Look at what I have. I have two messages. Okay. So I have new beginning. It says, let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Yeah, new beginnings. Yes. New beginnings. Closing out cycles. For some of you, her career, um, you're going to have a new beginning when it comes to your career. Some type of project, endeavor that you're going to be starting within the next year. Others for you are her family. You're going to be having um, new beginnings, new arrivals when it comes to your family. So this could be um, you becoming pregnant or you finding out someone in your family is pregnant. But yeah, her like expansion. So there's definitely going to be an expansion when it comes to your family. And then the last message I have is dream sweet, sleep, sleep deep. So yes, a lot of you, it says sleeps that's deep and lasts to mourn wondrous dreams for days reborn. For a lot of you, you're going to be getting like a lot of downloads to when it comes to your dreams. Spirit says it's going to be very important for you to pay attention to your dreams within the next year. A lot of these downloads are going to be setting the stage um, into what direction you need to take. It's going to outline the steps that you need to take in order to accomplish a goal or in order to take on a new project or go into a new direction. So really pay attention to your dream. Spirit says not all of it is going to make sense to you, but make sure that you're writing it down. Spirit says journal. Keep a journal of your dreams. That's going to be very significant for some of you in the next year i also got rest easy so a lot of you you're going to be taking a lot of time for yourself resting relaxation i heard vacation for some of you you're going to be going on vacation spending a lot of time with family i'm just getting like um a scene where a family is out at the beach enjoying the ocean um being around water so yes um i heard lake for someone um you may go visit a lake um be at a lake house um, so yes, I just see you really vacationing, taking a lot of time for yourself. I heard like take it easy, take a rest. For some of you, you may have been stressed, burdened down by whatever situation you're dealing with in your personal life. And it's like you're finally going to be able to rest. There's finally going to be some calm. Spirit says like the waters are calming, the waters are soothing. So whatever issues that you've been going through, things are going to get ready to settle for you. And you're finally going to be in a state where you have peace. So let's pull some more messages. Okay. I have discontent and boredom. Yeah, I see some of you walking away from your career. Some of you wanting to do something different. And I'm just looking at this pioneer. This like you finna go into a completely new direction. I just see you just walking away from, you know, things of the old. You walking away from some type of job, some type of career. One thing with this pioneer, it's like not everyone is going to support you, Sagittarius, in the beginning. Because it's like you're, I heard like stability, like you're walking away from stability in order to take an unknown path. And it's like, you're not going to know what the end is going to be. You don't know the results that you're going to get out of the situation, but it's like, you're trusting the process because you're not happy where you are. I heard like, I'm not happy here. And it's like, there's something that you've been wanting to do, like a creative idea that you want to pursue. And you're finally going to have the goal to go out and do it. For others of you, I'm getting like, this is you being bored when it comes to a relationship. You're not being happy. It's like you're finally going to accept the fact that this, I heard like this isn't the one. I, I feel like you're finally going to accept the fact that this person that you're in a relationship may not be the one for you. May not be the one that you want to settle down with. Okay. I have deception and envy in the reverse. So yeah, I feel like for with this deception and envy in the reverse, you're definitely going to find out that someone is not on the up and up. You're going to find out that someone, I heard like deceptive practices. I feel like you're going to find out. Um, I heard a company, for some of you, this is your job, an employer um, that is getting ready to be exposed for their deceptive practices. Um, I heard company close, so this may end up causing um, this company to close. But yes, I heard like all is going to be revealed. Yes, God 
um, spirit is definitely in the revealing season. So a lot of things are going to be uncovered at your place of employment. Um, spirit says relationship as well. Like someone's deceptive ways are going to be exposed. The next message I have is finance and material changes. So yes, some of you are definitely going to go through some financial and material changes within the next year. Um, but I feel like this is, I heard like last long. I feel like this is not going to last long for you Sagittarius, but there's definitely going to be a season where there is a very significant transition for you. Um, for those of you who are going to be walking away from your job, yeah, there's definitely going to be an impact when it comes to your financial stability. But Spirit says it's not going to last long. I feel like you're going to be able to bounce back from this. Those of you where the company will be closing again, you will experience some very major changes when it comes to your financial security, but this is not going to last long. I feel like spirit is just, again, new beginnings. You have to close out one cycle. You have to close out one chapter before you can enter into a new cycle, into a new phase. It's like you cannot bridge two things together you cannot bridge the old with the new you have to depart from one in order to be able to receive the other so let's pull some tarot and look what came out first thing that came out is the higher offense so yeah some of you are definitely bored when it comes to a relationship you're not happy with someone that you're in a connection with for some of you you could be married to this person i also see this as a job for some of you you are not happy when it comes to your supervisor you're not happy with your colleagues you feel like your supervisor um is too controlling and not very understanding um you feel unappreciated at your place of work and for others of you you feel unappreciated when it comes to a relationship and i just see you making very significant changes for some of you you're going to make a very significant change in both areas both your romantic life as well as your career let's get a message for deception and envy in the reverse yeah, I keep hearing like this isn't the one. So like you feel like this person, this isn't the person that you want to be with. Okay, look at what I have. The King of Wands and the Moon. So some of you are definitely going to move on from a situation with this Moon card. There's definitely going to be something that is revealed. Yes, there's definitely going to be something that is revealed and this is finally going to give you that push you need to move on from a situation. Yeah, there's definitely someone that is going to be hiding something or that is hiding something from you. And again, I get company. I feel like this company is hiding um, a lot of things, a lot of um, evil deeds that are being done, um, especially when it comes to finances. I heard like taking money financial scrutiny i feel like this company isn't doing good in terms of finances um and i also feel like there may be someone that's taking money and it's going to be uncovered yes the moon will reveal all um for others of you i heard moon cycles it's going to be very important for you to pay attention to the moon cycles within the next year um I heard I like cultivate, manifest. I feel like you're going to be able to really manifest more during the moon cycles. I'm also getting pregnancy for someone within the next year. You may um, become a parent. You may be giving birth or you may be finding out that you are pregnant. I'm also getting with this king of wands. For those of you who are, have some type of business, I see things really taking off. I really do see some of you going into a leadership role. And you having more authority when it comes to a work situation at your job. And I'm looking at this higher fund and the king of wands. For some of you, you may end up taking your supervisor's position. So let's get a message for material financial and material changes Okay. 
I have the Wheel of Fortune and I have the Emperor in the reverse and I have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so yes, there's definitely going to be um, a season where you may feel like you have a lot on your plate with this Ten of Wands. I just heard like burning down. So you're definitely going to go through a major shift when it comes to your finances. Um, and you may feel like you can't handle it all. It may be too much on your plate with the Emperor in the reverse. I just feel like, yeah. Um, there's going to be some adjustments that are going to need to be made in terms of your um, your lifestyle, your stability. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like there's just going to be a period where you're going through a lot of highs and lows. But again, I just go back to new beginnings. I feel like this shift, this change is needed in order for you to begin a new cycle. I heard abundance. So, Sagittarius, you are walking into abundance you are going to have fulfillment when it comes to your career your finances but you're just going to have to go through a period where things are unsettled um and you really just don't know what the next day is going to hold but if you make certain adjustments you will be able to definitely endure even though it's going to be very difficult again highs and lows so not everything is going to be bad you are going to experience some highs um, some periods where you are happy some periods where you feel secure um, when it comes to your stability and then you're also going to have some periods where you don't feel as secure so let's get some final messages. But yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to be due to a change in your job, a change in your career, whether you're walking away. Um, I heard termination for some of you. You may um, end up being terminated, laid off. And I also heard like closure. So the company may end up closing for someone. But this is definitely needed um, in order for you to be able to have a new beginning. So in, in life, we have to have some rain before we can see the sun. Okay. Look at what I have confidence. So yes, a lot of you, I feel like you're going to be very confident. I feel like this is just you being embracing who you are. Yes, being confident within yourself, being confident in the decisions that you're making and the moves that you're making. So, yes, I um, also heard a burst of confidence. So some of you may have a burst of confidence. You know, you may want to try new things and really put yourself out there. Again, I heard social media. For some of you, you may be starting a social media platform where you're putting yourself out there, you know, revealing who you are to the world. Okay, I have fertility. So yes, I feel like for a lot of you, I heard abundant. You're definitely coming into a season of growth, um, a season of fulfillment, a season of prosperity. I mean, I'm just going back to, you know, this Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor and the Ten of Wands. It's like everything that you're going through, everything that you will be going through is going to lead you to growth. It's going to lead you to happiness. It's, and look how she's resting. Like she's unbothered. Like yeah, you're going to be unbothered. You're going to finally be able to be at peace with your finances. Um, you're finally going to be in a place where, um, you're not watching your money all the time. Um, or you're not living paycheck to paycheck. Um, I heard plenty, like you're going to have more than enough. And again, with fertility, someone is going to find out that they're pregnant. You may be giving birth within the next year or someone in your family is going to be coming into the fam, be coming into your family. You're going to have an addition to your family, I should say. And the last message is friendship. I heard like people are going to be proving who they are. So for a lot of you, you're going to be seeing people's true colors when it comes to your friendships. You're going to be, especially during this difficult season where you're experiencing a loss or a drought when it comes to your finances. Like people are finally going to prove who they are. You're finally going to see their true colors. It's like while you're down, you're going to see who's actually there for you, who's actually sticking by you during this difficult season, Sagittarius. Um, I also heard soul tribe. So for someone, you're going to meet um, a soul tribe member. I'm looking at the children. For some of you, you may be connecting with a childhood friend within the next year. 
a childhood friend may reach out to you. I'm getting like a mother energy with this face. I'm feeling like you're going to end up connecting um, with this childhood friend due to your mom or their mother. I'm getting... I heard loss of a mom. So someone's mom may pass away. And um, due to this passing, you may end up getting back in contact with a childhood friend. I also heard like visit. For some of you, you may have like a childhood friend or someone that you grew up with come and visit you within the next year. So Sagittarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Oh, and one more thing, Sagittarius. I heard cancer. So for some of you, um, your mom may be finding out that she has cancer. So I'm definitely sorry to hear that for whoever that message resonates with. So remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.